Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Pokemon Duel video. So, I was away for one week, I had exams, but I'm back. Well, yeah, hopefully. And today, well, we had the gym cut last weekend and I couldn't make content about it, but I'm, I actually did pretty well in the gym, so I wanted to make a video about it. So, uh, yeah, this is the match that I wanted to feature against Mr. N. So here I was at my 43rd win streak. That's insane. I mean, I, it was I mean, I think it was the first it's the first time that I had this insane streak. I had a similar streak on the Grass Gym Cup, uh, but I don't remember well how much it was it. Um, but anyways, so I wanted to feature this match against Mr. N He's running all Ultra Beast, well, three Ultra Beasts, uh, Viresion, Combusken, and Lucario. And my deck that, uh, yeah, it was this one that got me 33 wins in a row. Yeah, like, no, 32 actually, yeah. And the first one was uh, I was running Celeste and Fermosa and the first 11 wins. And it was pretty good, but um, yeah, this was this was my deck on the entire gym. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, and it was pretty good. So let's go to the match. I start here with Blaziken. I usually started with Blaziken because people tend to YOLO here and double chance your mon. And Virisium was not a good idea to like. Blaziken has really good odds of, uh, of surviving against uh, another mod, you know, so that's why I start with Blaziken. Here I went for the for the attack and unfortunately I didn't roll the Typhoon Slash, but I mean it's, it was okay, the, he didn't knock me out. Then uh, when I face Ultra Beasts without a counter, like without a Terrakion, without Shiny Ray, without a uh, mega ray or something like that i like my my main priority is to get rid of the pheromoses like the cold signalers and then uh, if he gets run the woods okay if i knock celestella it's better but yeah i usually try to do that here he got the, the unlucky roll for me the rendezvous and i was like damn it and yeah, there was another Feromosa first roll, first cold signal, and I was like, Jesus, this is not gonna be good for me. And he w he was playing very defensive, you know, like he was protecting at all costs his Viricians and yeah, like the the weak spots, you know. Here we go with the Mighty Sphere both. He go he went back. I got the Shadow Fleet, unfortunately. Here's a 50-50. Like, if I roll the yellow, the gold attack, he needs to roll the white. And the odds are like, kind of 50-50. So he got the 50-50 like the roll here. And Evil Blaziken is coming out. And that guy is just a monster. Like, Evil Blaziken, he really scares me. If I don't have my Mew on the field, I was like really worried about it. So here I tried to go for the Typhoon Slash. I don't really mind about getting like I wanted to cycle back, well, to get a knockout at least. Yeah, unfortunately, he got the knockout, but that was okay. He went forward with Fermosa. And I didn't think it twice. I needed a knockout because he was gaining a lot of uh, like insane positions. So I was really worried here. So now um, I don't remember what the roll. Oh yeah, he got the uh, here. I was like yes, like yeah. There's hope here because that was a really good roll. I mean, I needed to knock out that celestial. I didn't. I couldn't afford another rendezvous. So yeah, and I could have YOLO with Blaziken, you know, but the, the odds are not, I mean Lucario is pretty as, like a solid, solid goalie. Here I made a mistake, I didn't attack Furumosa to get rid of his ability. 
so he knocked out my Lunala unfortunately the, but that was okay like he was gaining position and yeah here I max revive Lunala tried to like I was hoping for getting like a neutral turn but there was not actual neutral turn so and he got the cyclone kick which was very unfortunate but he got it right now, Mew, a total beast on this game, it was amazing how he handled all those beasty mounts. He made right now a nice move, he put my like my Mew on the... He closed the, the movement of my Mew because I, I needed to, to get Mew like on an offensive position but he blocked right away, he saw that coming and it was a perfect move there. Uh, so here, unfortunately, that was that's something I, I just didn't want to do is like I don't want to To make him recycle his recycle back his his Celestella because that means another potential rendezvous and You know, I don't really want that here Got the jet kick. I was hoping for the wall crusher because that will have meant that like that will have made him use his his goal block and yeah i was looking for that but i mean here i'm gaining position and like yeah let's do this we i can win this you know so i went for the attack he got the dodge but i was okay um yeah and here i don't remember well what i wanted to do but yeah i wanted to ah uh, yeah i was waiting for him to to uh, bring out uh, Blaziken just so I could attack uh, with Blaziken on the goalie, you know? But I don't know why I decided to attack like uh, with Lucario. Here I went to. Oh yeah, he moved there. I went with the double chance. Yeah, I was hoping for that move because that would like that made him use the, the goal block because he was blocking and he was not blocking anymore with uh, Fermosa so yeah that was perfect here I needed one more roll the jet kick boys the jet kick and I was like oh damn it like damn it like I need to get that quick win right now because let, late game means more rendezvous and you know what Celestial I just wiped out my entire team and I was like at this moment I was like damn I should forfeit like I don't want I don't really want to play anymore he got two rendezvous there's nothing for me to do he got then the call signal so now I was like damn it bro I'm just this is the end for me so Mew was a beast here as a defender of course like he he went really he had it was a 4v2 yeah so he had a lot of months like you know like a lot of months on the field so he needed to be a little more aggressive you know but he was really afraid he didn't risk it and he was very uh, like really defensive yeah that's the word defensive so unfortunately those fermosas rolled cold signal all the game well not all the game but uh, i mean a lot of times that was really unfortunate uh but here there was another chance blaziken could like had the chance of wiping his entire team with the three star with the lucky three star purple so I was waiting for him to move to make a like a bad defensive move. So I decided to attack, hopeful, hoping to not get the rendezvous. And he got the fly, and I was like, "Yes, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that." He decided to do the rocket ride, and I was like, "Oh boy, it's now or never. It's now or never. I need to roll two. Ro I, I need to get two rolls. First roll done." I just need one more roll. Well, no, two more actually, because against the Virisian. 
Two more rolls and boy, he gets the cold signal again. Those pheromones, boy. And now I'm like, it was game at that point. Like it was a five v one. There's nothing I could do. Shut up, flip from you. And yeah, so this guy, good game, Mr. N. I already talked to him on the Discord. Um, he got rid of my winning streak. I was like in the gym on the at the end. I was 43 wins, one loss. This was the only loss. Yeah, after this loss, I decided to stop playing because I had I didn't have any more time. So um, yeah, and I didn't want to jam because. But at the end, I I ended at the top three, which was amazing. So yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, right now. We have the tournament as well. I'm a little bit late to everything, but I wanted to record this video. And yeah, I'm glad that I could record because we had the maintenance and all those all the updates. So, but I, I mean, yeah, I could use the the IDs. We got 200 gems as well. So that's amazing. And oh, I forgot, but guys, I have a brand new deck. I'm, I'm gonna make a couple of videos about the tournament uh, Hopefully you guys do really amazing So this is the deck that I'm gonna use Well, that I'm using The tournament has already started I crafted Primal Kyrie Finally I crafted this whale Well, this orca Yeah, so And you can't imagine I have faced tons of Ultra Beasts decks and I have beat like I have beaten them I, I beat them every single time it's so amazing you you feel like very confident uh, I really like it so I can't wait to to make a showcase about these decks pretty good like, actually pretty good so guys thank you so much for steps for patiently waiting for my videos like I love you guys you loyal team because yeah, I have I've been having like a lot of on subs because yeah, whenever I stop uploading videos, there's an on sub and that stuff. So thank you very much for everyone that doesn't subs like unsubscribe. That really means a lot. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Hopefully, peace.